many civilians have been lost in the last seven weeks. 1,200 Israelis were killed on October 7th, and 140 were taken prisoner. We are finally, because of a ceasefire, able to see the return of some of those hostages, and it is, it is something that we have prayed for. And one of the most important things, I think, that has been done since October 7th is we have continued to center the humanity of those people who have died and been taken prisoner so that we understand it's not just a number, it's a person. These are people who are mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers and sons and daughters who have full lives. And one of the most important things we must do right now is to continue to center the humanity of all of the Israelis and all of the Palestinians who are, who are affected and who are killed and who are taken prisoner. In a moment, we are going to read um, a few hundred of the names of, of some of the almost 15,000 Palestinians who have been killed in the last seven weeks. We will read their names and we will read their ages and we will you will notice as we read their full names how many people from one family have been killed. It is staggering when you listen to the numbers and the names and you understand the loss of entire families and entire lineages. Before we read the names, I would just read this poem um, by the Palestinian poet Zena Azam. As many of you probably know, Parents have taken to writing names in, in magic marker on their children's arms and legs, so if they are killed, it will be understandable who they are. And in this poem, the child speaking asks his or her mother to not write any numbers on their leg, but to only write their name because they so fervently wish not to be a number. This is called, Write My Name, Mama. Write my name on my leg, Mama. Use the black permanent marker with the ink that doesn't bleed if it gets wet, the one that doesn't melt if it's exposed to heat. Write my name on my leg, Mama. Make the lines thick and clear. Add your special flourishes so I can take comfort in seeing my Mama's handwriting when I go to sleep. Write my name on my leg, Mama, and on the legs of my sisters and brothers. This way we will all belong together. This way we will be known as your children. Write my name on my leg, Mama, and please write your name and Baba's name on your legs, too, so we shall be remembered as a family. Write my name on my leg, Mama, when the bomb hits our house, when the walls crush our skulls and bones, our legs will tell our story, how there was nowhere for us to run. <laughs>